And Hansbrough knocks it out of bounds towards the Sheepdogs. Wraps this in a zone that time. First look of the night, Matt. Obviously a real small backcourt at Calderon and Lucas. So they go with the zone that time. Let's see if they go back with the next trip. So they go with the zone that time. Let's see if they go back with the next. Shunas makes his debut tonight. The Toronto Raptors open their 2012-2013 NBA season. Tough and gritty, four-point game. Raptors led by 11. It's a 6-0 run. Good teams are going to make runs at you, Matt. It's a good club. Been to the playoffs the last two years, and it shows. Raptors have missed their last five field goals. Anderson. Clock down. Anderson sees a gap. And Davis on the dunk in with a slam dunk. Great basketball play. You haven't made a shot. Put it to the deck. Put pressure on the defense. Draw that second defender to you. Find a teammate. Beat the clock. Good play. George, no. And Davis, the one-armed rebound. Oh, he blocked them out, and he went. He got it. And Davis, deep position, and Matty took his time. He gathered and took it strong. Played with force on both ends there. Slight difference, game clock, shot clock. Raptors, 71, 63. Crossover, Augustine driving, denied. Here's John Lucas, two seconds. Lucas, no! At the end of three quarters, 71-63. A different level of intensity this season. Oh, boy. In that third quarter, the Toronto Raptors brought it. Now, can they sustain for one more quarter and open up this season and make Captain Crunch happy? Raptors by eight. Happy Halloween. What's that, buddy? Ability would have been similar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here are the Sixers now out of the timeout. Ball tipped out of bounds by Corey Brewer. There she is, all dressed up for Halloween. Trick or treat, everybody. Our McDonald's small fry of the game. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Rail right. Pause, looking for the miss, and it's Andre Miller poked away by Jason Richardson. Richardson up for Hawes, who. Missed the alley-oop, but Darrell Wright is able to collect it. Actually, Darrell Wright, I think, was the reason he missed. That, that, they both went for the lob there, and that's why I think Spence missed it, because Darrell was, thought it was for him. It's Nick Young airballing the three. The 20th attempted by the Sixers tonight. They've made seven. Andre Miller doing his thing. Missing badly. It's indicative of the way the teams have shot tonight. The Nuggets just under 33 percent. 
The Sixers not much better at just under. Constructed a shot working right. Yeah, it's, it's been down to, and what he's able to do now, he moves very well instinctively without the basketball. He can play above the rim. He's very quick off his feet. Can finish without a problem. He's not afraid to go over a bigger. Play. The Kings dancers wanted to help launch it the right way by heading on over to Travis Air Force Base, and they spent some significant time with our troops who are currently stationed there. Lots of fun, lots of smiles, and a great way to connect and pay tribute to our armed forces. Well done, ladies. And speaking of the armed forces, we have a special night coming up Friday, November 9th at Sleep Train Arena. Veterans Day is the same weekend. The Kings come out and celebrate our nation's heroes as we acknowledge and pay respect to our armed forces. It will be Military Appreciation Night. It will be a patriotic night at the Kings game, including a special presentation of a Purple Heart. Get NBA League Pass right now and don't miss a minute of live NBA action. NBA League Pass delivers the games on all platforms. Check out a free trial, October 30th to November 6th. Call 1-855-NBA-LPLP. Contact your provider or go to nba.com slash league pass. Vince Cellini in Atlanta. Coming up on the Sprint Halftime Report, we'll have first half analysis and tell you how the Hornets have built this lead on the San Antonio Spurs. Also, the debut for the Houston Rockets of Jeremy Lin and James Harden in Detroit. How they are faring. And we will also have news on the Knicks and Nets postponing Thursday's game in Brooklyn. We'll see you at halftime. Rick Fox, Mike Fratello, and me. Now back to the game. Well, they're, they're, they're sharing the ball, but they got great energy out there, and that's, and that's the spot. Tyreek brilliant in that first quarter. Screen set for Robinson. One thing about Nate, he's feast or famine. <laughs> he is. And that's going to be a block, and the call will go on to Marcus Cousins. That's his first. Plus, James Johnson anticipates, steps in the passing lane, gets into the paint. A little spin move, finds Francisco Garcia. Francisco. So, certainly in this fourth quarter, that's Evan Fournier. He definitely walked with the ball. That was a clear travel by the native of France, Evan Fournier. Nonetheless, his first NBA field goal. Caps a 7-0 run, and now it's a seven-point game. Yeah, the rule is you have to either put the ball down before you lift up your pivot foot or release the ball on your shot before you lift up your pivot foot. And he didn't either. Young taking Brewer and a foul. Murray Brewer, the personal. They say Ty Lawson picks it up. That is his fourth. So Lawson with four. Brewer with four. Chandler with four for Denver. I don't like this game being so close, Mark, especially with Andre Miller on the floor. Last year, the big hero in Denver's victory. One and only meeting between the teams. They won it in overtime, and Miller is two assists away from a triple-double in that game. Now Thaddeus Young getting one more at the line. That's 77% from the stripe a year ago. Sixers by eight. They just sit down a couple times and get a couple stops on this end of the floor, Mark. Brewer, another three. Young may have hit it last. No, they say Kufos hit it last for Denver. It'll belong to the Sixers. I don't understand why he's not. You want the clock to run. You got a lead right now. <laughs> Point well taken. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Holiday open. And again, an opportunity for the Nuggets off a missed shot. Get a fast break, but Brewer had it stripped away. Young, thinking about a three. Dips in, strokes two. Big deuce for the Sixers. Huge, huge bucket there for the Sixers. Sixers first field goal in about the last four and a half minutes. And for Holiday on that jumper by Young, his 10th assist. Ty Lawson looking for an and one. Lawson with 11. Holiday.